Amazon Listing Creation in Berk. This is the feature from Amazon with the help of which you can actually create unlimited listing like more than one, five, ten, hundred or even thousand listings in just one file or in just five minutes. So in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can actually create more than one listing in a one go to save your time and list your product hassle free. So this video is going to be super, super helpful for every Amazon seller because if not today, then later on this video will surely help you a lot. So as you can see that this is my one week sales and if I put the filter for past one year and click on apply, so you can see that this is my one year sales. You can see that throughout the year I got consistent sales and my sales actually increased in December which was Christmas season. So around 150. 50k was the revenue and the cool thing about this is that the PPC span was very less for the lifetime. So basically I don't do any magic, I only use common sense and use some tips and tricks which I have already explained you in these videos. So if you also want to learn all of those tips, tricks and strategies, you can just go on my Amazon playlist on YouTube and learn all the tips for free just to get the revenue like this. Alright guys, so as you can see here, I'm on my laptop right now and from here, I have opened my Amazon Seller Central. So normally what you do is, if you want to list your product on Amazon, you simply go on this three tab, click on catalog and click on add product. So after clicking on this add product, you select the category and you fill out the data of the product like title, description, bullet point and image and then click on submit or publish. Then your product usually become live on Amazon in 15 minutes. But that process was to list only one product. But what if you want to list more than one product? like? five products, 10 products, or even 100 products for you or for your client. So in that case, you need to take the help of Amazon bulk listing upload. And for that purpose, you don't have to click on this add product, but instead you have to click on this add products via upload. So when you click on that part, then you will be able to see this window on which you can show four options on top and three of them you have to use. On the top left is download spreadsheet. So when you click on that download spreadsheet, select your category, then you will be able to download your Excel sheet. That will be a blank Excel sheet. And all you have to do is you have to fill the data of your product one by one in different line in that Excel sheet. And then you have to save that Excel sheet and then come on this upload your spreadsheet tab, click on browse file, upload your spreadsheet and it is done. So in that way, you can create many listings at one time. So now to learn this practically, let's click on this download spreadsheet. And then on the right side, you can see this update product details tab. So from there, you have to click on this get product template and then click on this product template to download the Excel sheet. So after clicking on product template, you have to select your marketplace there in which you are selling on Amazon. It can be Amazon.com, .co.uk, Canada, Europe or any country. So in that case, we can select Amazon.com because our marketplace is Amazon USA. So after selecting your marketplace, you can see this category. So from there, you can navigate to your category from which your product belongs. So either you can navigate from this hierarchy or you can just type the product category here and click on search. And if it appears on search, you can select from there. So let's suppose here if I just type mirror or bathroom mirror, so here you can see that I can find multiple categories here and I can see the whole structure like the main category is home and kitchen and then the final category is mirror. So you can see mirror here, wall mounted mirror here and makeup mirror here. So in case if you're confused here, so you have to simply go on Amazon website and search for your product and check out any of your competitor who is selling the same product as you want. And then you can just check out their category and then come back here and match that category and select that category, right? So let's say in my case, the category is makeup mirrors. So I can just simply select it and then I have to go down and I'll see that the category has been selected here. So now after that you have to go down and then simply click on this generate template. So when you click on the generate template button, you can see that on the top right, the file has been downloaded and that file is a blank Excel file which you can open on MS Excel or even Google Sheet. So after downloading and after opening that file into Google Sheet or Excel Sheet, you will be able to see the interface like this. And on the bottom, you can see that there are multiple sheets in this one file, like instruction, images, data definition, template, and so on. So basically, if you click on template, so this is the main file in which we need to put the data of our product, like title, bullet point, description, SKU, and category. And then after filling the data of all of the products, five, 10, or even hundreds into separate line, we have to save this file and we have to upload that file again on Amazon on the same place from which we have downloaded. And when we upload that file without any error, then after 15-20 minutes, your all listing will be available on Amazon. And if you check out the other sheets from the bottom, like data definitions, images, instruction, and valid values. So basically these are the sheets for help. And if you stuck at any point in this template field, and you don't know that what is a valid value for this field, or what value you have to fill in that column or row, so you can just take the help from other sheets. 
right? So now let me show you how you have to fill the data in these fields one by one in order to list more than one product, right? So you can see that there are many columns in this sheet, but you don't have to fill all of the columns. You only have to fill the column which you want to fill. Like the main columns are title, bullet point, description, images, the product SKU, product category, product price and product quantity. That's it, right? So you can see that here this column is for external product ID, which is UPC ID type, the item type keyword, which is category. And if you scroll on right side, you can see some other tabs here, like what is the item condition, like that is new item or use item. And if you scroll further right, you can see some other column like quantity and pricing. So one by one, you have to fill out all of those column for each product. Like for example, you are having five product. So you have to scroll left. And in the first row, you have to fill out the data for the first product. In the second row, you have to fill out the data for second product and then so on. So when you fill the data of each product in different line for every column you want. So after filling the data, you have to save the same file and then you have to go again on Amazon here on the same place. From where you have downloaded that file, you have to go up and click on this upload a spreadsheet tab. So then from here, from this tab, you can see this drag and drop file. So you can either drag or drop the file or either you can just click on browse file and select that file from your laptop where you have saved that file. So after uploading that file, all you have to do is click on submit product and then for this last tab, spreadsheet upload status, you can click there and then you will be able to see the status of the recently uploaded file here. So when you wait for at least 5 to 10 minutes, then you will be able to see the status that will be changed from submitted to done. So if that will be done, that means your products are live on Amazon. But if there is any error in that sheet, so you will be able to see that error in the same page. So you can just go there on that Excel sheet again and resolve that error and upload that Excel sheet again. So if you're doing it for the first time, you might face some errors, but after trying that method for two or three times, you can get that error resolved and you can upload your Excel file without having any error. So right after watching this video, go there and try out this feature and this method of creating Amazon listing in bulk quantity. And if you find any issue or face any error, then feel free to let me know about your error in the comment box below. I will surely reply to your comment and try my best to resolve your error. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video and learned something great from it. So if you find my content really informative and helpful for you, then make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel as well. So you can watch more and more videos like this in future. Let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye. Go back, back, back.